Hello everybody, James Blackwell here. I'm the owner of a seven-figure recruitment agency over in the UK. And what I do is I help recruitment business owners grow, automate, and scale their own agency to seven figures and beyond. Now, what I thought would be good to start 2022 is actually to share a seven-figure agency roadmap plan. And what I've noticed when you actually plan this out visually, as you can see here, you can, you can see how simple the business can be in order to get to seven figures. So when we break it down, I always talk around this in a lot of my YouTube videos around your business is uh, really dependent on the amount of systems that you have in order to scale without you. So to create a self-managing agency, it's very important that you have systems. So the first thing that you wanna do in 2022, if you want to get to a million pounds in revenue and beyond, and that's like GP, so like our business is like a, a, perm, a, per, a permanent uh, placement recruitment agency. So all of the figures here are based on that. Now, the first thing that we need to fix is making sure that we have systems. Now, when we break it down into fundamentals, we've got clients and candidates. So when we break it down to first principles, we need to have the right type of ways of like creating systems in order to get uh, both clients inbound and candidates inbound. So the easiest way to, to break that down in the seven figure agencies to have like a, a consistent way to get clients. So that's what I would call the client acquisition system. Now the client acquisition system consists of a way of how you map and define your micro niche and how you engage with those uh, client prospects to turn them into leads and have a lead funnel where the leads come inbound and then you need to have a consistent way we call it the signature sales system and inside there's a signature sales pitch deck is to have a way of how you're going to actually onboard them either exclusive and retained. Now this system I would say is probably the most important part of your agency and that's what helped me be a millionaire and create the agency that I have today. I'm very lucky and blessed to have some great employees, some great clients, some great candidates that we've helped place in the market. But that was all down to making sure we had a consistent way to get clients. Because still, even in all of these markets where it's um, very candidate short, as we know, I know that myself because we specialize in technology recruitment, mainly around software engineers. So, but we still need the right clients. So you need to make sure that in 2022, if you haven't already, you need to nail down a consistent way of how you're going to get clients. Instead of just this hamster wheel of running to get a client, then all of a sudden work the job and rinse and repeat, then all of a sudden you think, okay, next we need to hire a 360 recruiter. And we all know down the path that that goes back to the traditional agency. Um, we teach a lot in my mastermind and, and Recruiter Accelerator around building what I call the new era agency, a hybrid model, which I'm gonna dive into in today's video. Then the next thing is having candidates. So having a clear defined uh, candidate sourcing machine is very important as well. So how we do that is a range of different uh, pieces and components that we break that down. So we need to know what the candidate market is, how we break down that niche, how we get to them, so where we get the data from, whether it's on our CRM or ATS system um, or LinkedIn, and a way that we can automate some of the process to outreach to them. And then in between that candidate sourcing machine, we have marketing sourcing ninjas and virtual sourcing assistants. So a bit of a hybrid model where we use a lot of different uh, components in order to engage with the candidates. Because we focus on, and most of you should, if not already in your agency, you probably focus on passive talent. So you probably heard me say this, this before and you've heard this in the market many times, is a good candidate is a candidate that's not actively looking to move on from his position, his or her position. So the only way to get passive talent is by constantly engaging with them. And as humans, the, the traditional 360 recruiter model, recruiters don't have the time and can always make mistakes. They're not gonna always follow up with candidates every single week. And it's a lot of the passive talent is around uh, timing. Mm -hmm. So they need to know, like, and trust your agency in the market, which is one of our goals that we come on to here is building down the brand. But also we need a consistent way, like actually putting this into a system, a machine, where we can constantly engage with the candidate audience. So the second system is like having a candidate sourcing machine. 
Then I've, I've already touched on the signature sales pitch deck, but this is a, uh, a signature sales system that I developed quite early on in uh, our agency, Ronald James, to create unfair advantages compared to our competitors in the market. And this is a consistent way of how when you get a client lead inbound, you want to make sure you wow them and you want to show them, walk them through an experience that's slightly different to every other agency. Because if you're just getting on the phone with them and walk them through their requirements, what the challenges are, and then all of a sudden just pitching in with uh, the, the standard rates, 20%, 25% or 15%, then they're not going to be wowed and they just think you're just another agency. So the way to define that, like I, I talk around this in uh, our mastermind of like how, when you really drill down into a micro niche, how you create a moat around your business. So you wanna make sure that it's hard for other recruitment agencies to get into these clients once you nail them down and deliver. And the only way you're really gonna do that is to create an un unfair advantages in the market that that client knows that you're gonna deliver above and beyond the competition. So when they come knocking on the door and say they've got this great candidate, they're going to ignore them. And the only way you're going to do that is walking them through a visual presentation and a way of how you're going to deliver that experience to them. So we, we build this together. So you want to build out a signature sales pitch deck that's consistent, that, that walks that client through their pain points, um, the type of value adds that you can bring into their business and create true what I call recruitment partnerships with these clients. And then the fourth system is having inbound automation. So you'll see like from, a, a, there's a range of tools out there uh, that you can use automation. Now you can't automate everything in recruitment. You're never gonna take away the human element of being able to influence and persuade a candidate to take a job. And that's the same with the client to, to work with you. But there's ways you can systemize and automate some of the initial outreach and some of the engagement. So we walk you through step by step how to do that um, in the program, but mainly you wanna make sure that you can create uh, some automation to give you more leverage because you as a founder business owner of a small boutique agency you're not going to have the time to do all of these things manually or depend on your recruiters to do it and then the final piece is operational excellence so this is like your SOPs and your systems in the business that make everything going so whether it's a template the scripts the format how you onboard uh, your delivery consultants or your virtual assistants or marketing sources, how you manage them, how you retain them, um, how you reach out to clients, how you deliver. All of these need to be put into systems. So you've probably heard me talk around the EMA3 Visited, a uh, great book by Michael Gerber, and he talks around systemizing the business just like McDonald's did. Every step of the process is a system, and you have that in an operational excellence manual, not an old school manual, but something that's hybrid that's online. And so each part of the the segment of your agency is systemized and there'll always be things that go wrong, but you've got this in a way that you've delegated a lot of the work. So those are the systems in the business. Now, in terms of projections, so I would say like to get to a seven figure agency, lean and agile and with uh, the least amount of employees that you need in order to get there, Yes, there's plenty of million dollar and million pounds a year billers that are just solopreneurs, and that's great. But you don't really have a business, you just have a high paying job. So to move you away from actually doing it, doing it, doing it, and having to do delivery yourself, to actually creating a team that's gonna do the delivery and get you to that million, two million, or three million, you're gonna have to not just have systems, but you're gonna have to have a team. So I broke this down really, really simple in a format, and it's similar to my agency. I mean, we've got uh, six delivery consultants and our goals are a little bit higher than these projections, but I share that uh, inside our mastermind. But this gives you a good format to, to go off. So your delivery consultants, if you're gonna have four, these are, these are like 180 consultants that are just gonna do, uh, they're gonna work their live and open roles that you're gonna bring in with the client acquisition system. So you as the founder, as the main person that's gonna be driving the business, being the face and brand of the business and uh, networking with other CEOs, founders, directors of other companies within your niche that they want to work with and you're going to build long-term partnerships with where you can fill 5, 10, 15 roles a year with because you only need a small amount of clients to do that. And then you're going to hand this off to what I would call your A-player recruiters and they're the ones that are going to deliver on the roles. So there's always going to be a superstar. There's always going to be someone that's going to outbuild the rest. So I would say like when you break it down into quarters, you're top delivery consultant would do around about 350k a year. 
you'd have two doing round about 250k yeah and one coming up at 150,000 and that breaks it down in terms of your quarters obviously naturally the, the last quarter and the last two quarters of the year are, are traditionally normally a lot better depending on what market you're in but traditionally that's how, how it normally works and then you've got your costs so if you work on a margin and I think really from analyzing a lot of seven figure agencies that are at the million to 1.5 million 2 million threshold you cost around about 40 or 50 percent so if we take that into the equation and we were just being saved 50 percent profit margins you should make 500 thousand pounds a year net profit from your business with four delivery consultants and this isn't uh this is like you not billing at all so there's some people that might be watching this that might make more profit than that and that's great but you want to ask yourself how much work are you having to put into that business in order to achieve that now how the team will be structured so this is an idea of like how I build like the hybrid agency model would be once you get to around around six or seven th now this is dependent if you're in the office or not so we have an office a fantastic office and culture and so we so we need a PA or office manager so the PA like reports to um, would, would report to yourself or office manager and the rest of the team and that'll take you away from a lot of the day-to-day -day admin and management duties You'd have two marketing sources, and um, I haven't got time to go in depth in this training, but basically, like these marketing sources, they're going to be the, the gurus that are going to be doing a lot of the outreach and sourcing for candidates for your delivery consultant here. So these are going to be very, very integral to your business, and they, they can create a lot of revenue for your agency. Now, then you've got your four delivery consultants, and then under there, we've got one general VA that does a lot of the admin work and oversees the other two virtual assistants uh, that you would have in the business. And they do a range of tasks. Again, like I haven't got time in this video to go through it, but step by step, we walk you through how you build on a successful virtual assistant sourcing team. And then you can have a freelance accountant bookkeeper, and you can have a really lean team doing this, and that'll get you to over a million pounds a year. So the goals of these businesses are really just to generate 80K per month in terms of billings consistently. I would say growing a candidate webinar. So having like a building a brand around your agency and micro niche and creating a candidate audience with that. Winning more retainers or exclusive. So it doesn't have to be retainers, but I talk a lot around like with the client acquisition system and the signature sales system, you're going to be able to be in a position where you can win more repeat business. Always keeping expenses low. It's very, very important that you want to have a highly profitable agency. Don't overspend. We've all made those mistakes, especially if you've got an office or remote. You're going to end up spending a lot of things because you're going to have two, three, four, five hundred thousand pounds, sometimes a million pounds plus in your business bank account. So you think all of these subscriptions and all of these costs, but they all eat into your profit at the end of the day. So you always want to be trimming and keeping these expenses low. Quick tip that I would always do, like every six months, I would cancel our. Uh, expense card like one of our company cards so that forced uh, a lot of the subscriptions not to renew and all these costs that we've got going on and you'd be surprised like how much money you've spent on things that you didn't even know you had so that's always a trick that I would do every six months to try and keep the expenses low and then next is like building a strong team culture so when you're having a small boutique team the progression plan is slightly different for them as opposed to a bigger agency so we uh, walk around like a profit share scheme that we give uh, to our employees that wrap them in. And you want to make sure you're doing a lot of team events every month in order to keep the uh, authenticity and the vibrancy in the agency and the business. So it's very important you build a strong culture and always working on more inbound candidates. So there's a range of techniques uh, that we go through in the program around like how we get more candidates inbound in your niche. And then finally, the tool stack. So I haven't put all of the tools that uh, we use in an agency, but if I was to do this again and just have a simple million pounds a year recruitment agency, these were the tools that like you would need. Uh, Slack, Streak CRM, uh, LinkedIn Recruiter, a solid ATS. Uh, you want to have an email automation uh, outreach tool, um, a candidate nurture tool, G Suite for business, video outreach, uh, the way to uh, send across your proposals and pitch deck. And Zapier is like quite a cool automation tool, which which we dive into further in the mastermind around like how we can basically automate and systemize pretty much everything. Then you have you, you need a, an accountancy tool like we use Zero, um, VoIP access, so like where your delivery consultants can call through the mobile or take calls when it looks like an office line. 
uh, hub staff is to manage your virtual sourcing assistants. Some job boards just because you always want to keep building to your database so you can have your VA stripping job boards all the time and lead pages and landing pages so you can create uh, some quite cool uh, client type of uh, websites for career sites that you can give as an unfair advantage in your delivery. So yeah, so that's pretty much a simple 2022 seven figure recruitment agency uh, sort of blueprint. And as long as you're what I would recommend is go away and build this yourself and sort of set the precedent of like how you want to shape your agency. So if you're like a recruitment business owner that's uh, like either a solopreneur that wants to scale and automate and is stuck doing it, doing it, doing it, or you are a small business agency owner but you're doing things what I call the old school way, then feel free to book in a call with myself and my team and we can walk you through if and how we can help you with uh, one of our programs. And if you did like this video, please like and subscribe. Really appreciate your input and I'll catch you next time. Thank you.